seven o'clock. Um, obviously the park's open till half eight, but we're in Paris today, so that doesn't matter. Just check out there. So I'm just gonna take this and drop it at reception. We, I think I filmed myself sat in a rain ghoul in front of the castle last night. You won't see any more footage after that because it basically threw it down. Um, we got the National Geographic show him. That was great, um, but yeah, it rained so hard that there was no drones again for the drone show. So it's funny because the day one day that we caught the drones, we didn't film it. <laughs> so yeah, we had, you know, just a tip for anyone coming if the weather's off, if it's raining, they won't do the drones. Um, but there was lightning and stuff last night, so we understood. But yeah, 10 minutes before, the Electrical Skylight Parade and the... I can't remember what the name of the other one is, but I will do. I'll insert it on the screen. Um, the, the parade show. It basically, it hailed, it threw it down. We sat there for as long as we could and then thought, man, no. The, everyone was leaving the park, so we walked out and then basically there was no fireworks, it was that bad. So yeah, um, fun times. Uh, but we are just, you know, we're smiling, we're still at Disney. So yeah, we are going... Drop the bags off at reception to go to the lodge, then going into Paris. I may film some bits and drop them in. Um, bits we're going to go to the Louvre and stuff is the plan and walk around and see um, some of the locations of the memory of Paris, which is on my list of things to do. And then, yeah, we'll be back here around one o'clock ish. Um, we're not flying till late, so we're going to get back here at one, go and pick up a few bits of merch for people. That we were going to pick up last night, we didn't because we were too busy trying to get back with the rain. Um, but yeah, and then it should just be maybe a last sneaky ride on hyperspace because that's one of the only rides I really want to ride again. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. No doubt I'll take around the shop stuff when I get back, if not, and then to the airport. So, see you in a bit. On the plane. Today was a bit of a mess. You'll see footage of like Paris, which was nice, but when we got back, we I don't think I filmed it. The train had to stop like three stops early for Disneyland Paris, and we had to get a replacement bus. So we were an hour late getting back, and then we went and did a bit of shopping, but it was raining. Basically, it was just we didn't get any rides or anything. In. We got very limited part time today. So, and now the flight's delayed. So that's great. Uh, it's like five past ten or something now. So we're not checking yeah, for ten. 
Veuillez placer vos petits bagages à main sous le siège devant vous. So yeah. Les bagages de plus grande taille doivent être placés dans les coffres en hauteur. Pour nous aider à assurer un départ de meilleur de So, hello everybody. Um, I know I filmed coming home last night. I know I filmed on the plane and stuff. Might be the odd clip on the plane. We are back after four days, three nights in Paris. Um, yesterday was manic and I was absolutely exhausted, which I think you can tell in the footage that I just look <laughs> so tired. Um, it was a lot of, you know, getting up really early and I normally do it in Florida, but we normally have a bit more of a break for this because we only had the two sort of days in the parks. We did open to close, like no going back to the hotel, no real resting. You know, we sat down to have the odd snack, but basically we were like, yeah, out all day. Um, so yeah, it was great. Flight was delayed like 25 minutes coming home from uh, Charles de Gaulle airport. But they made the time up. Like, we literally got back. It was probably about a 50-minute flight. And it should have been, I think, like an hour and 20 minutes. We got back just in time to catch the train. And my mum picked us up and dropped us off at home, sort of, midnight. So I feel a lot more fresh and alive today, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to end the vlog here. Um, Disneyland Paris, for me, is definitely worth a trip. It's a lot smaller than Florida. Obviously, Florida's got four parks. You know, you're busting be between them all. Um, but I really like the fact that with the two smaller parts, like this is the first time I sat down and watched a bunch of shows. We watched the Animagique Mickey one. Um, we watched the Pixar one with the live orchestra. That was beautiful. And the Frozen one, which is quite an intimate one, um, which I 100% recommend queuing up and getting in for. So yeah, because we rope dropped and got all the rides in the morning. We were like, right, okay, we'll, we'll like wander around, take some pictures, but tick off shows and stuff as well, which is not something I normally do because I'm so focused on trying to get rides done when you go to the bigger parks. Top ride, I loved Space Mountain, to be honest. I love Star Wars, so the hyperspace uh, theming on that for me was class. Avengers Flight Force is also a brilliant ride. And Tower of Terror took me by surprise though because um, if anyone that knows in the Florida one, it's more of a like a ride through and then you get one drop um on this one it literally there was multiple drop it was a bit more i think random it felt so it was good because when i got on i thought i was expecting the same ride and that it definitely wasn't um but yeah other highlights were probably meeting mando that was fun um again big star wars girl i got the star wars ears didn't i so oh pin trading obviously sorry yeah pin trading was definitely a highlight um they've just brought back the like I said, I think it's been a few months now, but they're doing cast pin trading. Although, Preblo's trading post apparently is only open on weekends. So that was shut for most of our, like I say most of. We couldn't go in, basically. It was never open on the days or the times we were in the park, if it was open at all. That was a bit, bit of a bummer, but, and I didn't see many pin bars. We saw one big pin board and one pin display case. Um, but because of the cast member trading, I did manage to get, I think I mentioned this, like a cast member exclusive pin. They got a couple of other pins that I really like, so, and I'm going away again in Jan, so I'll do some trading then, shall I? I was going to do a haul. There was a lot of things I didn't pick up, mainly because I didn't have space, like I only had cabin bags. Um, so that helps me to save money, but we got a couple of bits for the people. So my mum and dad are off in September, which they're hoping to film. I won't be there to help them. Um, so, but I'm definitely the one editing all the footage. Uh, and then yeah we're all going in Jan so I definitely know that'll be a big one because that's a longer trip so but yeah I'm sure we'll find something Disney inspired to put on here in the meantime over the next summer months um but yeah so thank you for watching if you did and check out uh my mum's Instagram the magic ones from roller coaster 74 because we do do she will put some reels up and other content she's doing her Harry Potter office and stuff at the minute so if you like Universal you like Disney there's plenty of content going to appear on there hello so I said I'd do a little Disneyland Paris haul. I'm trying to find the right lighting for this. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go through a few bits that I bought. A few things I didn't buy. Um, I've been wanting one of the Bigfoot plushies for a while. Um, the Sven one is really cute. But they're 30 euros and I'm pretty sure they're only like £23 on Shop Disney. So I was a bit like they're not as cheap. I also, I may regret this later, but I didn't pick up the Tower of Terror if anyone was on the watching the Instagram, the Tower of Terror Stitch plush. Now it's forty euros if you go and you you want one of those. They're very hard to find. Like I, they sell out, and I know that we looked when we last were in Florida, 
and you, we couldn't see any and I wanted one then. But the quality of it's not the best. Like the way it's stitched down the back when I had a closer look at it. I mean, it's a lot of money for a plush. I wasn't convinced. I wanted a Disney Paris Prince trading bag. I believe I mentioned that in the videos before we went. They only had the 45 euro ones, which are like this big. Like it's a massive, like, I think it's maybe A4, maybe slightly bigger. Um, but I wanted one of the smaller ones, the A5 ones, because I would only carry like pins on holiday to go and do a bit of trading. So I'm not taking all of my pins anywhere and I don't need all of them in a case. Um, but they didn't have any. They basically had loads of the big ones, not a, none of the small ones. So I don't know if they've sold out, but it's something I'm going to keep an eye on. Vinted for probably um, and buy one second hand. But yeah, so that was, I think there were a couple of things that I'd gone with the intention of getting. Um, or like I'd seen before and I thought, oh, if I see that, I will buy it. And I di just didn't. Um, one of the other things worth mentioning is that now Disneyland Paris is very different to the US because I've never seen this done in the US. But they had promo offers on. And I mean like 40, 50 percent off stuff. So there were some frozen ears. I'll insert a picture that my mum wanted me to pick up because um, they said 40 percent off and they're the lounge fly ones. I plan to pick them up the actually the last night on the way back out of the park, but with the torrential rain. We didn't stop in the shop because like, I'm not carrying stuff back to the hotel when the weather's like this. I thought I'll just pick them up on the last day. Went into the shops on the last day, all the offers had changed. Um, so those were no longer 5% off. They put like sticker dots on stuff that's discounted. Um, so yeah, I couldn't get them. Uh, well, I could have done, but I didn't want to pay 40 or like you were buying them because they were on offer, so they were a bargain. I did make another purchase, which I will sh probably show last because the offers that were on I'll go into a bit more detail then of what they did for the last day but yeah on the on the first couple of days we were there there was the a lot the wish stuff like the wish backpack lounge try one that was about 50% off I believe the wish ears were 50% off um the frozen ears were 40% off there was a couple of other bits and pieces with discounts on but I don't know if it was because it was the start of May or they were doing a big clear out I'm not sure if they do regular offers but there was a lot of stuff on that last day we went to the shops like we didn't realize it was why it was so busy there was a lot of stuff on offer so purchases I did make I didn't spend that much money oddly like I spent we spent a lot of money on food and snacks and things like that so the first purchase I made were the Tatooine Star Wars Lounge for Light Ears. Now these I saw get released. Um, and I knew if they had them I was going to buy them. They do a Lounge for backpack and a Spirit Jersey in the same thing. Uh, same thing, same design, same pattern. But yeah, the ears I wanted. Because I know that these are pack exclusive I believe. At least at the minute. So you can't get them anywhere. Um, and it's May the 4th. Tomorrow. So, you know, perfect time to buy the Star Wars merch. Um, I wore these for two of the days anyway. And I wore my Electrical Sky Parade ones that I took with me. Um, but yeah, like with my mum and that as well, we'll, you know, borrow each other's ears and we can she can take these in September if she wants to. So, but I just, I love them. They're so, they're simple, they're not in your face. Um, which, but they're also girly, which isn't, a, it's very difficult sometimes for Star Wars is. Um, but yeah, so it, uh, just leather on the back and then you've got the it's all embroidered but yeah so these are these were not the most expensive they were nearly the most expensive purchase but i'm really really happy with them and i will be wearing these on trips to come so then we picked up uh, a mug for my boyfriend's sister um so she asked if they had anything bell sully and nemo now from a Pixar point of view, the, and just generally, I think, actually, the mugs, character-wise, were very limited. Obviously, being... I mean, going to the Florida one and seen the merch there. Disneyland Paris, it's not that they don't have good stuff. It's just that there's a lot less. Like, every shop seems to have the same things in. Um, But then you get the odd things. So, like, there'd be the odd pin that you can only find in one shop. These ears, like, it took me ages. They were in the Star Traders shop. Um... But yeah, so like, the sh they got the themed ones that have the specific merch in. So like for Star Wars and Marvel and things like that. But the it's really, it's 90% like the same. And then you'll find something that you've not seen before. Like at the, on the second to last day, I went to Square Lodge's shop to look at pins. And they had a Bambi mug that I filmed. So I, if I'm not already put the footage in, I'll put it in now. Um, but yeah, it was adorable, very cute. But I was like, I've not seen this anywhere else. And I just think that that's, 
it's worth checking every shop for stuff especially if you're looking for something um and that happened a bit with the pins which i'll go into in a bit as well but yeah so mug wise they were very limited they had some really nice princess ones and um, they had some lovely glasses all of those clips are in the vlog i imagine but yeah so she we found this one it says bell on the inside it's one of the animators so they do the animators pins and i just think the princesses look so cute like this so yeah and it's got bell on the other side as well so and that was 15 euros yeah 15 euros it's what about 12 13 pound i think that was beautiful i wanted a mug a bit of coffee in this one this morning um i wanted a mug i didn't see any that i really liked but if you've watched any of the vlogs you know that we're a big star starbucks family um and the starbucks did the you are here series now i didn't buy one the last time i was in florida and i wanted one so i should have done but disneyland paris did them so they do three they do the avengers campus one they do a studios one which i near I, I, I was tempted by but i ended up going for the disneyland paris one so it's got space mountain it's a small world the castle which is you know classic and this is like small world colors um big thunder mountain and you've got the train yeah there so yeah i thought this was really really nice um and since hyperspace is my favorite and i did i've not done small world before so i did that the first time on this trip um it was very fitting it's blue on the inside but there's coffee in it well the coffee on on the rim because i drank from it this morning and that one was 21.95 euros i think they're all the same and they're all different colors inside if i'm right the avengers one was red and the hollywood not hollywood studios the walt studios one was i think yellow but i'd have to double check the pictures i also got uh, my mum a pixar lanyard they're really nice lanyards like i can put a couple of pictures in i nearly bought one but i think the lanyards at Disneyland Paris are loads nicer than the ones I've ever seen at Walt Disney World um because the, there was a Peter Pan one a Marie one a Tinkerbell one um they were just yeah there was like three or four different stitch ones I think my favorite was the Chippendale actually but they were just they're only 10 most of them were 10 euros um some were 16 with like the plastic wallets on which my mum's was um I'll put a picture of it in of what's on it but it had like Edna um i think mike wazowski was on it eve or wally was on it so it had all of the classic characters so she's got that one but they came some of them came with like pin trading cards that explain to you the rules of pin trading because obviously for anyone that doesn't do it and is getting into it it's just so that you know how it works now with the cast members and stuff in the packs um because like i say there wasn't very many pin boards out that i could see and i'm used to looking for them so yeah i'm just glad that i caught the one that i did on one of the days that got me two new pins that I really like so so next up we have it's not really I guess it's not really merch but I when I had my picture done with Mando um we took some pictures on my phone as well but basically I bought a print because the prints just looked really cool so this is it in a Star Wars frame you can pick your frame so you can get like a Disneyland Paris one uh, for a princess's one if you got a picture of the princess. So I could have put it in any frame, but obviously the Star Wars one made the most sense. Um, but this was for the print and the frame was 20 euros. Um, but I do really like the picture. And obviously you just, I don't, you do it, you take the photo pass thing if you've not bought the photo pass and go to any of the counters where they do it and they'll bring the pictures up for you about an hour as long as you wait an hour after you've had the pictures taken and they'll print out whichever ones you want they did do deals on it so it was 20 25 if you wanted two pictures and then is it 30 for the digital versions and three prints so i mean i mean, it was i wasn't planning on getting any pictures with any characters um you know we saw the parades and stuff but yeah the this one was a bit of a non no brainer for me because that was a really nice little little souvenir. Next up, we have the pins. So, I bought, well, I say I bought, um, my boyfriend also bought me some. I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six new pins. I also did buy a, I'll put a picture in, um, Chippendale. I wish I bought more because they were cute, but I bought them for trading. So, they had a Chippendale pin set, but they were Thunder Mountain themed, so they both dressed like as cowboys. Um, <clears throat> but it was only nine euros for the two. And I just thought they were so they were cheap, cute, and nice pins for trading with cast members if I saw anything else that I wanted. So 
they didn't last very long. My boyfriend got me got the Captain America pin. Um, he got me the Pandora charm of this. So, and sorry, Avengers. And it was like Avengers, his favourite fat riders, flight force. So yeah, I got that one. Then he saw me looking at this, and I was intending on buying it myself. But when he went for a wander, he, he saw it and picked it up anyway. Again, it was only in some of the shops. Worth noting that you should buy them when you see them because I did see one or two of the shops they just especially for the pins they were like empty by the afternoon um a lot of people say the pin so the pin trading's hit and miss I think like the pins they have a lot of like the Disneyland Paris pins I've not seen anywhere else they all say Disneyland Paris on the back so you don't get them in the other backs but again it was a lot of repetition so you would go in the odd shop and be like oh I've not seen that pin but the majority of the pins are all the same and they don't feel like they have a massive selection um, it's like the same three or four sort of stands with them on. I know I've took some footage and stuff in the vlog, so you would have seen, but you do get the exclusives for each month, um, but no new pins had they got released while I was there. And they do, obviously they have Pueblo's Trading Post, which has special pins, and it's meant, I think that has a lot more in, but again, you've got to catch on apparently, because I thought it would be open. It wasn't open at all. Um, so it was a shame, but I'm still quite happy with what I ended up with, so yeah. Because you don't find many tangled pins. Um, and also we when we watch the show, I love the, the lanterns bit. But this is a Pascal. Let's see if that's focusing. Yeah, is it? Yeah, so that's Pascal in on the lantern like a hot air balloon. Thought it was very cute. Um and then I recently started buying some pins second hand online. Um I got some of the stitch mystery pins, I got some of the sleeping beauty mystery pins, and I actually show them on the instagram at some point um but i also bought some of the animate they brought out animators mystery pins a very i think good few years 2020 maybe a good few years ago now so they're like 3d like embossed ones um but i really like it's like the same with the bell mug i really like the style of illustration on them they don't seem to do them now in uh disneyland paris now, i don't know if they're just out of stock at the minute but we on two, on one of the carts and in one shop, I found a couple of them. And, I mean, like, they were doing, like, Merida, Moana. I'm going to have a search to try and get some of the others, like the Lilo, uh, Moana one, and Merida one would be nice. But, yeah, they were very limited in the actual park this time. So, because it's Sleeping Beauty's Castle, he bought me the Aurora one. I don't know if that's focused. Yeah, it is. Um, if Sleeping Beauty nails works perfectly. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so we bought the Aurora one because obvious reasons now the pins i picked up for myself i bought this cinderella carriage one i just really liked it i saw it in a few shops um and yeah it was one of my favorite pins um then there was there was only one of these in one of the shops and i didn't see it again for the entire trip so i'm very glad that i bought it but i got the animators at alice in wonderland one so obviously when you go um they have the cheshire cat maze and stuff there um yeah so and i love the washed out like colors in them they're just really 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 cute so and then this one was um one of the new releases for april so they brought out a whole tower of terror range of pins and i went with pluto in the end i was between this and the chippendale one where the chippendale were like holding the little bell basically the desk bell um but yeah this one's the one in the end that we went with so that one's really cute. They were all nine euros. So price wise, not that bad. Um, they do just some massive pins though, like they're like this big, which I don't know where you would put them. So they're not my kind of thing. Um, now my head is rattling. I'm gonna go through the traders and the other bits that I bought. So, so I also bought a Disney one Disney Paris pack of pins. Again, to trade one of the pins. Um, the other ones I had no intentions of trading. It's just what I had. Paris special pins, so I got this Stitch one. For anyone that knows me, will know I love Stitch um, with the little ducks, which is really cute. Um, but it also came with a Eiffel Tower Disney pin and a Castle Disney pin. So they were just more for keeps than ones. Um, but it came with one that said Disneyland Paris as well, so I traded that one in. So we'll start off with the pin board one. So there was a big pin board in it was the traders in near like thunder mountain is it frontier no frontier land so the trading stores around there um 
the the, like, the cast members in there as well like all had lanyards on with pins so it was one of the best places to go to find new ones um but yeah they had a big pin board out the first full day we were there which i just happened upon um with tons of pins on uh, sadly i didn't see it again but i did take advantage of it when it was there luckily i had no pins on me i brought um a bunch of pins which i filmed at the beginning of the first video so i traded two of my original pins that i brought with me we just seen the frozen show and these are the mystery frozen pins so when you put them all together they make a snowflake so i got the olaf and the elsa one because they were both on the board so yeah they go like this and they will make um a full snowflake if you get them all you can get sven anna um yeah and a bunch of other characters but yeah they were really really nice i was really really happy with those ones so they were great traders then i did some cast member tra trading in the shops so we got a valentine's cheshire cat one this is off a cast member called antonio he was very nice then i found one of the evenings those from the cats mystery boxes or a cat trip i think it might be a cat starter set um the sidekicks ones i got a lucifer pin don't see very many of them so i was very happy with that one uh, I traded in Sukhoi Lodge's shop with a cast member and got this little Rex pin. Again, I just, I like the character pins and I like the pins that you don't see. Like, I don't, I haven't seen many Toy Story ones. Two of the bigger ones I ended up trading for, so I got this Phantom Manor mini one. Which is really cute. I traded, I let the cast member pick, so I traded uh, Dale for this one. But yeah, that one's really cute. Then I got this one as well, which is like a black and white Winnie the Pooh. Another Halloween one. We do love Halloween here. So the little pumpkin. And I just really like the style of this one. I love the fact the colourings of it. Um, 2022, Disney Paris. So like I say, I know that I can't get outside of Paris. Um, it's over there. But yeah, so that one was really cute as well. Uh, and then on the last day, so I traded and got this one from 2016. It's a Stormtrooper snowflake pin the woman that i got this from she had on the line i should have yoda one as well but i only one pin left to trade so we went for the stormtrooper one i just think it's really cool a bit different and then this one is my proudest one because this like is a cast members refresh lanyard exclusive pin from 2018 so you can't get this unless you trade with a cast member like oh they had to originally have come from a cast member so that's owl from winnie the pooh as well so yeah and you can tell it's a cast member pin by this. So like there's a little like where the like the name tags like the little oval. So that was a nice little fact because I didn't know that was a thing. So it was nice to learn it actually does say on the back. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. It says cast members exclusive. So you know for sure that it is. It's actually got it written on. Um, but yeah, that was all of my pins. I didn't come back with any pins that I'd taken with me. Um, like I say, I am going to hunt for some of the animators ones. For the different characters that I want on line um hopefully can get them like i don't trade pins to get particularly valuable ones i've got quite a few pins now i'm not gonna lie um but they're just fun to collect i just need a better way of storing them so that'll be worked out at some point in the future um but yeah so that was all of the pins that i came back with um i've got my kugel waterproof these were 10 euros so it was coming home with me in the uk it'll definitely rain here and then the last purchase on the last day so on the last day as i mentioned i went to go and get the frozen ears for my mum um and they were no longer on offer i don't think there's anything else that i didn't get a chance to get um i think that was pretty much everything but they'd reduced lounge flies now for anyone that collects lounge flies because i don't tend to i had a couple and then i sold them because i was like i thought i just i've used them i'm not going to use them really again um so i used to have i had a hogwarts one a stormtrooper one and a couple of others so yeah i've had a couple but i've like moved on from them and um, i bought the Lilo and stitch one that was on this trip and i've got a mando and grogu one that i really liked but on that so on the last day when we went to the shop and we couldn't work out why it was so busy they there was 50 percent off lounge flies a selection of lounge flies so they had like a phantom manor one they had the pizza the disney eats one I think the Disney Eats Ears were also on offer. They had a Minnie Mouse one, a Sequin Peach one. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, the Small World one, that one as well. So you're talking that it, they go, they've gone down from like 80, 90 euros to 45 euros. And it's a good saving. So they had one that I would not have paid full price for because I'd feel like I don't need them. 
but uh, at 45 euros, I couldn't help myself. So um, I'm not just a Star Wars girly, I'm also a Stitch. Lilo and Stitch girly. Pudge. Um, and yeah, I I love this bag. I think this is so cute. And for 45 euros, which I think works out like 38 pound it was or something. It was, it's a steal. Um, and it's a Disney Parks one. So you know you're not going to generally get them online all over the place. Um, it's got a scrump on the turtle at the back. Fish on the sides. You've got this, which has got like a plastic coating. So it looks like underwater. Obviously Pudge eating his sandwich. And then the lining inside. Because I always like to make sure the lining's nice. Yeah, the lining inside looks like this. It's got Lilo and Stitch swimming. But yeah, I didn't plan on buying this. Um, but when I couldn't get the ears on the last day, it just, yeah. When I realised that this is what everyone was, people were going mad because those are the virtual half price. I thought, right, well, what better, what better time to buy it? So I'm packing that away and taking that with me in January. But yeah, um, that's everything. I hope it was helpful. I'm trying to think if there's any more tips as well on buying stuff from Disneyland Paris. But yeah, I think it is one of them where just if something's on offer, buy it the day you see it. For pins especially, not every shop has the same pins in. Like I said, that Alice in Wonderland uh, animators one, I saw one the entire trip and I didn't see it anywhere else and we went in in the mornings, nothing was restocked. So I don't know whether they'll get them again um, or not, but it's just the sort of thing where you're like, it's worth you being on top of it if you collect things like that or you're bothered or you want, you like something, buy it. I wish we bought the frozen ears now the first day, um, but hindsight. But I end up with the Lilo and Stitch Land toy backpack anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, there's just a lot of... There's a lot of learning with that. Like, um, I wanted one of the pals as well. That was the other thing I didn't mention. So the little, I think if you've seen them in videos, everyone's got the little, they have come with a magnet and you can get like Chip, um, Angel, Stitch, Bruni, all the characters that like sit on your shoulder. Now I was trying to get my mum one because she's um, like got a Tangled themed outfit and stuff for when she goes in September. They did do Stitch and Pascal. I did not see a one of either in any shop in the entire four days we were there. So they didn't restock them. I don't know if they're going to. Um, there was a lot of Leroy, Angel, uh, Sebastian's. There was Grogu, Groot, Chip. Uh, who else was there? Tinkerbell one. We did see one or two in some of the other shops. I'm trying to think who else. But yeah, so there's a lot of them floating around. But the Pascal one seems to have been popular because there isn't a one there. And the Stitch one was obviously very popular because they haven't got any of them either now. So it was um, that was a little bit disappointing. But again, you know, if you do see one, it's just another reason that if you are there and you see something, you're like, oh, buy it. Because if you wait, there's a good chance that either you won't see it again or like say if something's on offer, the next day it might not be. So, yeah, they're the best things I can give advice wise. But... I hope you enjoyed this little 20, yeah, 25 minute video. This is probably a video on its own now just to put the haul up. But I'm, um, I very much enjoyed it. I will look to go back when they open Arendelle. I think that'd be really nice to see and experience. Because um, at the minute, Disneyland Paris is covered in boards. There are boards everywhere. Because there's a lot of construction work going on. It doesn't bother me, but I think that like if you're looking to go anytime soon, wait until they open Arendelle as well. Because Studios Park is very small at the minute. It's very condensed because of all the stuff going on. So there's a lot of traffic. Um, and yeah, I just think when they open that up and if everything else gets opened up, it's probably going to be better money spent then to go and to get the full experience, which is hope. I think it's meant to open, I want to say next year. I don't think it's opening this year. So yeah, I think it's due to open sort of for next year. Um, but yeah, so I'll leave you now. And like I said, my, I think the next vlog series, my mum will be managing so we just thought we'd film these bits to get a few little content videos up in the meantime while there's a bit of a break between the big universal holidays so yeah thanks for watching and if you're going soon have fun mm -hmm.